Oops, something on my face. Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing with some weird new items I've picked up lately. Just as a quick disclaimer, I'm using the word weird because it's strange and foreign to me. Not all the products that I'm going to use are weird, but some of them are a little weird. So, yeah. I did kind of a mini Ulta and Sephora haul the other day. I picked up stuff at both stores. The first thing that I picked up, which I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while, is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Mask Sonic the Hedgehog Edition. When I was growing up, we weren't allowed to have video games. Uh, we did have a very old Super Nintendo system, and I'm a beast at Super Mario Brothers. But for some reason, my grandparents had a Sega Genesis. So every summer, we'd go and visit them, and we would play Sonic the Hedgehog, like literally from sun up to sundown. So anyway, when I saw that Glam Glow was coming out with this, which was a while ago, uh, I have been trying to track it down. I got the regular Glam Glow Gravity Mud. Ooh, try saying that 10 times fast. I got that a couple weeks ago and I've been loving it. So when I saw that Sephora actually had the Sonic the Hedgehog version, uh, I was really excited. Granted, it's in a tiny little sample size, but whatever. So I've got that on now. It's been on for about 15 minutes. So it's almost ready to be peeled off. skin is so soft now. It's literally 100 degrees outside. So I have been living for my iced coffee. Mm, 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 mm. So the next item I have is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Velour Lip Scrub in the flavor Orange Soda. I know these have been around for a while, but I've never gotten one before. I have really dry, kind of flaky lips, which sounds disgusting when you say it out loud. And I've tried a whole bunch of different lip scrubs and never really had any great success to where I noticed any like real difference. But I've been wanting to try these, so I got this one. It smells like orange soda. Okay. Ooh, it's like dry. Eek. Okay, my lips are scrubbed, they're feeling good. Okay, so the next item is probably going to be the weirdest, strangest thing in this video. This came out a little while ago and wasn't available anywhere near me and I couldn't find it online, but I walked into my Ulta the other day and they had it and I was really excited because I've been wanting to try it. Uh, this is the foundation brush for the Clarisonic. This is my Clarisonic. I've had it for a couple of years. It usually lives in the shower because I use it when I'm in the shower. I picked up a new shade of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation while I was at Sephora. So I think I'll try the Clarisonic foundation brush with this and just to see how it goes. I went back and forth about whether I should test this with a liquid foundation, but since I want to test out the new color, I'm just gonna give it a try with this. Surprisingly, I couldn't find real clear instructions online for suggested uses with this. Um, so I'm gonna spray it with a little Fix Plus, just so it's not dry since it's not a liquid foundation. Hey, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm like scared and excited about this. Okay. Oh, it's a lot like lighter lighter pressure than I thought it was going to be. Okay, you don't need to beep at me. This is so weird. <laughs> okay, so honestly, this isn't like the worst makeup application I've ever seen. I've definitely used brushes that were worse than this. Um, I'm also the most ticklish person alive. 
So that drove me a little crazy trying to do it around my nose. I will give it another shot with a liquid foundation because maybe that'll help the tickling. I'm not exactly sure. I am just gonna take a brush and kind of pat in around my nose. It's actually a very even application, which I'm kind of surprised by. I looked up some reviews online and there were very mixed reviews. So I was a little bit apprehensive about how this was gonna work. I'm actually pretty pleased so far with how that went. Okay, I applied concealer and now I'm gonna go in with some cream contour and give the Clarisonic another test. Okay, here we go. So excited. So I think it does a pretty good job with contouring gonna even it out a little bit it looks pretty good I didn't want to do too long in there because I didn't want it to ruin my foundation I wasn't sure if that would happen so I sort of left it looking a little heavier okay I went ahead and filled in my brows off camera now I'm gonna start on my eyes I picked up some new metallic products because I can't help myself so this is gonna be a metallic look first I've got the L'Oreal infallible paint metallics eyeshadow this is in the shade rose chrome I'm just gonna take that and put it all over my lid Next, I'm gonna go into the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm gonna pick up this sort of reddish pink color. And I'm gonna start working that in my crease. And then I'm creating a little V shape. And then I'm using circular motions to blend it out. Next, I'll hop over to the Saharan palette and go into the shade Bororo. Then I'm gonna go back into the rose chrome and just deepen up where I put it before. And then I'm just gonna blend it all together. For my liner, I'm in the mood to do something a little more exciting than my usual black liner. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Designer Blood. June was my birthday month, but I hadn't gone into Ulta to get my birthday present yet, and they kept sending me email reminders. So when I was in there the other day, I picked up my birthday present, which is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I've heard a lot about this, so I'm excited to try it. I am a mess. Mascara is a little bit clumpy, not necessarily in a bad way, but definitely clumpy. For my lower lashes, I'm gonna go back into that Bororo shade from the Saharan palette with my flat definer brush and run that in my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take a little of the Rose Chrome shade and blend that out. I didn't want my lower waterline to be too dark, uh, but I did go in with a little bit of black eyeliner and just do a thin line on my waterline. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna bronze with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. For blush, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the shade Princess Daiquiris. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go into Mary Luminizer by The Balm. To line my lips, I'm gonna use the Trophy Wife Liner by Huda Beauty. And then I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Paint Metallic Lip Blacker. This is in the shade Liquid Venom. I saw these at Ulta and I hadn't seen them before and I could not resist.
Finally, I'm gonna set everything with my Morphe Prep and Set setting spray. Okay, and here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play around with some new items and put together this look. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.